What's up guys, today's video is all about the gas chamber. What to expect when it's your turn to do it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So first of all, I'm gonna tell you, your drill instructors are going to hype up the gas chamber so much. Their go-to response for anything you do is, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get you back in the gas chamber. Just, just wait until we go to the gas chamber. I'll, I'll get mine back, right? That, that's gonna be their go-to answer is the gas chamber because they know that everyone is fearful of the gas chamber, uh, as you probably should be. That the gas chamber sucks, honestly sucks there's no way around it saying like uh it's not that bad no it's gonna suck it honestly is but they do try to prepare you for it right so you get a whole class over the gas mask and you know what kind of gas you're getting gas with and all these different types of gases and you know what to do if this gas you know happens to uh, pop up out of nowhere how to the proper procedures of how to put on the gas mask how to take it off how to clean it all that stuff the filters everything they're going to go over the entire you know process of being gas and all that stuff with you to try to make you as comfortable and as knowledgeable on um, the topic as possible and then it's going to be your time to go into the gas chamber right they're going to line you up and they're going to start sending people in the gas chamber right and that the one of the worst things is the anticipation of going into the gas chamber so first of all, the gas is so like strong and so bad that you can smell the gas when you're just standing outside the gas chamber. You're already feeling the effects of it going in. And you know, you're hearing people screaming inside the gas chamber and then you see them running out and just <laughs> doing all that stuff right now. Like what the fuck? And then you got all these drill instructors like, mm-hmm, yep, just wait until you go up in there. I can't wait. You know what? I'm going in there with you. I can't wait. Right, so you're, you're already so freaking scared. And then it's finally time for you to step up inside of the gas chamber, right? You get in the gas chamber, you see all these guys and you know, the full suit with the gas on, with the gas mask on, they got like the ammo can, they're, about, they're popping in little pellets, about to start burning the gas in there, but y'all all flow in and instantly, instantly you feel it all over you. It's just, it feels like someone's prying you with needles, right? Someone's just poking you over over it with needles, right? But the, the gas on your skin, it's not that bad, right? It burns maybe a little bit, right? But then you get up in the gas chamber, you know, they're having you do jumping jacks. If the drill instructors don't like you, they're just gonna tell you to take off your gas mask and just start inhaling the gas. And that is when it is horrible, right? So there's gonna be part of the gas chamber where you're, retired, you're required to take off your mask and you know, you can hold your breath we know when you take it off, right? But you're gonna have to take it off and they're not gonna let you put it back on until they see everyone's gas mask is off, right? So just make sure before they tell you to take off your gas mask, you take in a deep breath before you take it off. But if the drill instructors don't like you or if they just wanna mess with you, they'll just make you take your gas mask off and they'll make you say, I, sir, inside of, inside of the uh, gas chamber, which is going to force you to breathe it in. And if you breathe that shit in, oh my damn, it is the worst feeling. One of the worst feelings on earth. You're gonna, you're, you're definitely gonna feel like you're about to die. I'm telling you, you're gonna feel like it's all over. Uh, but yeah, I've seen it where they took out the filters uh, and someone's gas mask, right? So someone just breathing in straight CS gas the entire time they're in the gas chamber. And you're only in there for about I think maybe it's like five minutes, I would say, uh, but it feels like 30, uh, but you're not in there that long. But honestly, it does suck very much. But yeah, like the, they're basically gonna have you do jumping jacks in there or whatever they want you to do. They're gonna require that everyone puts two fingers underneath their gas mask, take the gas mask off their face and make sure you can put it back on and clear it out properly. But that that's it, that's what the gas chamber is. And then you just run out and you know, start flapping around like you're crazy and, <laughs> and letting all the snot and stuff around your nose and all that. And that's a good thing if you were sick up into the gas chamber, right? So I think I, was, I had a little bit of sinus problems uh, before I got to the gas chamber. And once I actually went through the gas chamber, it literally is gonna clear you all out. Um, but yeah, you just clean off the gas mask and all the gear that you use and then it's over but the gas chamber is way way different in the fleet getting gas in the fleet is way different right so the gas chamber of the fleet is so chill and chillax you don't have to take off your gas mask all you do is just walk up in there uh they pop in some pellets and they just watch you and that's it and they tell you to get out right it literally is like all three minutes maybe they don't do all that extra stuff um, but getting gassed, uh, the way, different ways I've got gas, I've gotten gas on the field out. So we were just chilling in the mount town. Um, and you know, the CS guy, the Seaburn guys came over and just start popping gas into buildings and stuff. So had to put gas on like that. Um, did it while we we're in the defense. So we were in holes and stuff like that, uh, dug in, 
you know, acting like someone's about to attack us. And the Seaburn guys once again came and, you know, threw some gas in people's holes or just threw them around us and stuff like that. Um, but that's basically how you're going to get gassed, like, in the fleet. Um, my last time getting gassed, I had to line up. This was this was one of the worst ones, actually. I had to line up, like, in two lines. We were in two lines, and we were outside in the woods. We did a patrol up into where we're going to get gassed, but it was on purpose. It wasn't like we didn't know we were going to get gassed. So they made us line up, and they just had the gas canister on a stick. They just popped it, burned it, and just put it right in front of my face. Just like, <laughs> that was probably the worst one, uh, honestly. But the gas chamber in boot camp is going to be the worst. It's going to be the worst one. Uh, after that, like, once you hit the fleet, at least if you're going to an infantry unit, uh, and depending on how your command is, stuff like that, it's not going to be that bad anymore, I promise. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about as far as, like, having that feeling again is OC spray, and that's a whole different story. Let me tell you, I would rather get shot in my shoulder or just shot, yeah, in my shoulder. I don't want to get shot in any lethal area, but I get shot in my shoulder before I get OC sprayed again. But maybe I can do a video on that. But yeah, gas chamber, once you get through boot camp, not that bad. Well, hopefully, guys, this can take some nerves, ease some nerves away from the gas chamber. It's going to suck the first time you're doing a boot camp. There's no questions about it. There's no way around it. But I promise you, at max, it's like five minutes. Five minutes of just uncomfortable crap and pain and all that. Once you get out of it, it's fine, honestly. It's not that bad. Do not stress about it that much, guys. Uh, and plus, it's experience. It can. It's something that you can say that you did that a lot of other people have not done, right? So just look at it like that. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like so that it can get out and YouTube can be like, oh, Charlie Great is putting out some fire content. Um, if you want me to do a video on getting OC sprayed or anything else, please leave it down in the comments down below, guys. As always, if you have not yet subscribed, geez, I almost fucked that up. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. I've been looking at the analytics and I see a lot of people have not yet subscribed. Is it because you don't like me? What's going on? If you got a problem with me, just leave it in the comments. No, but for real, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'll hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of my upcoming videos, guys. And as always, thanks for watching.